A charter school is a school choice for public school students, so we try to offer an opportunity for students so that they will want to come to our school if they don't appreciate the choice that they have at their local public school. My name is Dana Smith and my daughter is Mackenzie and she's been with Tycone Academy since they opened. What made us choose a charter school was we had some bad experiences in the public school and we had some friends that had recommended looking into charter schools. Um, they had said that it was a safer environment, um, more one-on-one -on -one attention. The academics um, were definitely more challenging for the children and um, you know, overall a better experience for the kids. Our school in particular is based on inventions, innovation, and problem solving. So students and families who are interested in seeking out opportunities to possibly become inventors or scientists um, would have a good uh, match at our school. Tacony is different in the way that it's a caring school community. It keeps the kids safe. And one of the other schools I went to, there was a lot of fights. And here, it's totally different. And I feel so much better here. My name is Dana Rodriguez, and my son is Gavin Rodriguez. He's been here since first grade. He got to learn a lot of things here that he hasn't got to learn or will never learn in a, a public school or even some private schools. Um, Chinese class, that's the first school that I've ever learned, known to have taught Chinese. Um, they have a lot of one-on-one -on -one things, special programming as far as um, skateboarding, and they incorporate that into math like how that would be into physics. Certain things like that, more hands-on, which especially for a boy, I think they need to be more hands-on. <laughs> the schools that I've taught at in the past, you know, there's a very structured way of doing things throughout the day in Tacuni. I can kind of alter lessons or um, kind of improvise when students have questions or they want to explore something further, I'm able to explore other things as the students present their ideas. Tacone started in 2009. We started as a K-4 school and each year since then we've grown by two grades. So now um, in 2013-2014 school year we're a K-12 school for the first time. We're fully enrolled this year. So it's an exciting process for us that we started. The students that we have that started with us in fourth grade are now our first eighth grade class and through the opportunities they've had here in um, our caring school community where we do class meetings and we have a buddies program. They really interact and speak with each other in productive ways. They're excited about learning. They want to come to school. They like working together. They're excited about science. So it's a great choice for students who want to have an opportunity in public school education. We have like different a lot of classes and like in my other school we didn't pick what classes we want to go to. But this school, we get to pick what classes we want to do. Like, for example, if you want to be like, play the violin when you grow up, you can pick music or something. If you want to be a scientist, you can pick science and all that. You can pick what kind of category that you want. I feel that Tycone has helped my daughter succeed by giving her the confidence and desire to want to learn. Um, a lot of the programs here are very hands-on and, uh, you know, learning through um, doing. I think the children really pick it up more. I would say in comparison, Tacony is a much nicer place. I really appreciate that they have a caring school community ideology here. I think that they really put students first in terms of their needs. They try to um, really accommodate individual learning styles and learning needs. We try to really get the students to embrace our problem solving and think being innovative thinkers. And so from that standpoint, I think it's really great. I think there's just a lot more freedom. We're able to teach in our own individual ways. Um, the kids have a say in what goes on in the caring school community model, which is really good for us and for the children. Well, I would say our, our main mission is innovation and problem solving, but really our vision is to help students and families feel like they have the best possible educational choice for their students. Um, we don't feel that families should feel like they have to go to their neighborhood school if they're not satisfied with it. And, um, you know, we feel that what we do here speaks for itself, that we have a wait list for students who want to come to our school, that um, children who come here like to be here and the families are satisfied. So I just feel like, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, it's great to be able to say to children and families that we do care about your children. We want to um, give them the best opportunities here. 
and really our caring school model that we have where we respect children's voices and we have an idea of how we want our students to interact with each other but also teachers to interact with students. Um, you know, it's important to me to know that students come to school every day and that they're greeted, that somebody is saying good morning to them, that they feel cared about and they feel like their teachers want to be there with them. And I think that's what they get here. I think it starts with getting to know your kids, knowing the things that they like, um, the activities that they, you know, uh, look forward to doing, uh, really tapping into the multiple and child intelligence. So using our body to learn, using, you know, listening to the music, watching videos, really touching on all the different ways that the kids can learn so that I make sure that every kid has an interest involved. Well, in the community, we try to use like Fox Chase Nature Center. We have the free library come in. We've had the zoo come in. Um, we have a lot of different organizations come in to do science experiments and things with students. I'm really excited about the Tesla Science Foundation partnership because of the resources it can bring into our school and because it's a, a mutual partnership where uh, the Tesla Science Foundation is excited to have teachers to help them bring the concepts of inventions that are kind of high level and bring it to teachers who will help them understand how to instruct younger students with that. Um, and then likewise for us, we have this uh, team of experts who have been donating their time and really coming in and working with teachers and students to provide some exposure to equipment we've never seen. Tesla coils, uh, the Thurman performer came in. So there's really, um, those are the real inventions now they're getting to see, which is what we had hoped for when we talk about the holistic approach, that everything will be connected back towards problem solving and that anyone can create something, it's just an idea and you know, the process of creating and thinking and rethinking and perseverance. And really the message of perseverance is one we want for the students, not just if they're inventors, but in life so that they can keep moving and keep working towards their dreams. They're not just learning math and they're not just learning reading, they're learning what it means for them and for their future. So they are learning about what careers they could have. They're learning about why they have to do certain equations and problems and understanding that that's connected to looking at the world in a more global perspective. Um, so I really, I really am very confident in, that, you know, in my mind, the next great inventor is coming from our school. And I think with the new partnerships we have, we're gonna give them that opportunity to do their best.